Uh, today I'm going to do a stoichiometry equation. I'm going from grams to moles to atoms. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm given, um, I wrote down an equation beforehand where I'm given 10 grams of carbon dioxide. Alright, so that's what we're given in the equation. And uh, what we're going to do is first, the first step in this is we have to go from grams to moles. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So first things first is the mass of carbon is 12 grams. And since there's only one of them, there would be 12 times one. All right. The second step is to figure out the, mo uh, the mass of oxygen. So what we have to do is we have to take 16 grams times two because there are two oxygens in carbon dioxide which that will give us 32 all right so what the final step in figuring out the molar mass is determined or is just adding up the carbon and the oxygens so when you add these up it equals 44 grams all right so after we did this, we can, we can set up the first part of our equation. We have 10 grams of carbon dioxide that was given. We have a molar mass of 44 grams per one mole of CO2. So after we did this, this will get us our equation in uh, moles. All right, but we're not finished. We're wanting to go to mole. Now we're wanting to go from moles to atoms. So the final step in this conversion is using Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So what we do, what we're going to do is we have to for every one mole of carbon dioxide, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. I'm going to use ATM for atoms a short of CO2. Sorry, kind of got a little short there. And once we figure this out, we will take 10 grams, divide it by 44, and multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, which will get us an answer of 1.37 times 10 to the 23rd. And that is how you go from grams to moles to atoms. Thank you.